think someone's pulling in. Who it be? It's the man, Paul Jameson, Kia Sorrento, baby. It's nice. <laughs> Is that the 80 hey. 10 or 90 10? It's the 80 10. We're gonna, we got our breakfast burritos. We're getting the truck rolling here. We gotta go out, take care of some yards today, all right? Shrubs throughout the year if they want us to. Yes, we will, uh, you know, put fresh mulch down in the spring and some. What's up, guys? So, um, I was the first stop on Paul's summer road tour, which is just a huge honor. You know what I mean? Once in a lifetime chance. So cool that he wanted to do that. Um, so that was, that was, this is Thursday. He came Monday, Monday morning. So all these clips are from the same day, except for not the Paul stuff. The Paul stuff, you know, is it same week, but it was a couple days ago. So just don't want to, you know, mix y'all up if you're uh, watching the vlog here. But, um, so we're mowing our first three yards. That was at one yard. You know, it's really tight right here, scrubbing the lantana a little bit. But the gate is wide enough. And uh, so we're going to go in here and hit up this yard. Um, it's hard to tell on camera, but this is actually pretty thick and and all that. It's a pretty thick yard. But, um, you know, it works great if you can. Plus, my knees were hurting this day pretty good. So I'm like, man, because usually I just push mow it, but I'm like, I'm not push mowing it today. Um, customer doesn't care if I push mow or not. I just, I usually do, but I'm not going to today. Um as you can see, I got that little board on. It's like a half board, just so stuff doesn't fly up too far. And I'm um, rocking with that. Y'all, if y'all watch my videos for a long time, made that a long time ago. Um, so you can put it where accelerator bracket is, even if you're not using the accelerator. But yeah, huge blessing that I was able to uh, go on Paul's podcast and he came to my house. And uh, it was so awesome. In, in a little bit, I'll show you some more footage of us, you know, sitting there, do it. And I, uh, he actually didn't, have a big tripod with him so i said here take mine so he took my big tripod i have um so he's going to use that on the tour which that's that's really cool as well so paul's a great guy uh monday podcast come out so you're going to see this video probably saturday but be sure to check out the green industry podcast on monday um whether i use google google podcast but some of y'all might use apple or whatever oh yeah so here's another um another uh so, yeah, I mean, that's that. Check out Green Street Podcast. It's going to have me on there. It's going to be awesome. But this is another strategy I've been trying. Remember I told you all about how I've been weed eating first and doing that stuff? Um, but this is another tactic, another strategy I'm trying where I mow first and, if, and trim bushes first and then get the weed eater and the blower, you know, because I, you know, in the summer right now, you know, I'm running this electric stuff. So get the weed eater and that electric blower and you can set the blower down you're edging up like in right now and you work your way all the way back around and then you can pick up your blower and blow it you know like one shot um and so i've been trying that you know i think it's good as a solo person to try up different methods like sometimes maybe trim first sometimes maybe mow first you know try different you know just to change it up for yourself and maybe sometimes even change up the order of what you do the yards and all that um, I already edged down that right side of the sidewalk when I came down here to set up the camera. So, anyway, even though I double cut this, still a lot of clippings, um, as I will show you all finished product in a minute. But, um, yeah, that's something I've been trying, and it's been working awesome because it saves you a trip back to the truck in the Wentz Electric. All right, boys, as you can see, looking real good. Still got to do some more blowing up there in that little bank. There's a few leaves blow that on my way up but we're almost out of here double cut it looks good even though i double cut it still a lot of clippings and it's a weekly yard so it's just growing pretty fast for us in the south here this is like you know in june and july when you get that a lot of heat and some rain it's like peak peak growing season for our warm you know our warm season grass like with some rain and that hot temperatures and humid air and all that, they rock and roll. It's hard to even edge and everything. But anyway, all right, let's keep it moving. 
I guess what I was saying, since it's electric, you don't have to start it up. So you can just set it down for a minute, use the other tool, set the other one down, and just, you know, grab the other one up, pull the trigger. And so that's pretty awesome. This is time lapse of us getting prepped for the podcast. And then I had, to, then I gave him my tripod, so I had to stop video me. Check it out, guys. Live and in person. Getting a real autograph. Such a great guy. Y'all stay tuned. Green Industry Podcast and Green Industry Podcast on YouTube as well. And we will show you much more. See you. <laughs> Bye, Ruben. See you, bud. Thanks, bud. You're the best. Green Industry Podcast. Hitting the road. Heading to South Carolina, baby. Stop number two. See you, See you bud. Bye.